So the weather is finally good enough that we are back in our outdoor unboxing location. Yay! And to celebrate the occasion, we are going to be unboxing another Western Digital 1 terabyte hard drive. Yay! No, I'm just kidding. There's something special about this. This is a Western Digital 1 terabyte green hard drive, but the thing that you should notice about it is, besides having a 64 meg cache, which is thumbs up, it is a WD-10 ears. So the E-A-R-S in the part number means that this is an advanced format drive. Now what advanced format means is that this drive uses four kilobyte sectors instead of 512 byte sectors. What that means in layman's terms is that the drive is able to, in the future, with this technology, achieve much greater data densities than a more traditional drive. So why don't we get started with the unboxing or unbagging, as it were, of this uh, Western Digital Green Ears drive. So there's the drive itself, and inside we will find... Oh, I'm very fond of these. Do not eat. Okay, silica gel. Don't eat that, please. Thank you. These are not little, um, like, bubble tea things. I don't have them. Okay, so uh, let's look at the drive physically first. So it's a pretty typical three and a half inch drive. You got your three mounting holes on the one side. You got nothing here. You have three mounting holes on the other side. On the bottom, you will find your pretty standard looking PCB with two mounting holes on either side. And then at the back, you will find a standard SATA power as well as a SATA 2 interface with some jumper pins and whatnot. Now, I want to talk a little bit about what advanced format means. Now, advanced format won't bother newer operating systems like Mac OS X, Vista, or Windows 7. But if you are running, and I'm just going to put this up here so that everyone can see it. If you are running Windows XP with a multi-partition or you are using cloning software, you need to use the WD Align software available at www.wdc.com slash ADV format. So that's advanced format. And then you will be able to use that tool to make the drive perform properly. Because if you don't, the partition will not be aligned properly with the new sector size and the drive will perform very, very poorly. Okay, now if you are running Windows XP with a single partition, it's as simple as setting jumper 7 to 8 prior to installation or using the WD Align software. Now, they recommend using the WD Align software rather than the jumper just because it's a more complete solution, but the jumper will work if you just want a grab and go sort of way to get this running right out of the box. All other OS configurations, the drive is ready for use as is, like I mentioned before. So, Windows Vista, Windows 7, OS X, don't even think about it. Whereas with Windows XP, I mean, remember, that's a seven, eight year old operating system at this point. It didn't know that we were gonna make this radical change. So with Windows XP, make sure you either set jumpers seven and eight or use the WD Align software. Thanks for checking out my unboxing and I think we're done now.